Hello tiny creatures of the universe, my name is Floating Koala, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be quickly talking about skill-based matchmaking, which is a topic that is a little bit controversial around the gaming community, especially in Apex, because especially when it's EA too. So skill-based matchmaking, everyone thinks that, you know, it's to do with you get into lobbies with players with similar skills as you, right? It's nothing to do with that, guys. And I've only recently found this out with through some YouTube videos and through some deeper dives into the internet. That skill-based matchmaking, especially on Apex Legends, is rigged. Skill-based matchmaking does not work how you think it works. And I, I genuinely think this is so wrong for companies to do this. And I, it, does, it needs a change, okay? It, it really needs a change. So in today's video, we're going to quickly go over how skill-based matchmaking works and how you have literally been scammed by these companies. And you're going to be a little bit disgusted, I think, after you read this. And... I think it's something that a lot of more people should be talking about because it's not something that I see a lot of people talk about and it's such a big issue. It ruins the experience for a lot of players in Apex and, and in other games too. So skill-based matchmaking is where you get into lobbies with players that have similar skill to you, right? And that's kind of how it's meant to be. Skill-based matchmaking is where you're meant to get into lobbies with players that have the same amount of kills, not same amount of kills, but similar skill to you, you know, like similar stats, similar stuff like that. But not everyone is going to be as good as you. You're going to get some bad players, you're going to get some better players, but they're not going to be like, you know, level 10 or level 20s or you know just you know it's for example say you're level 500 it's going to be basically impossible for you to get into a lobby with like a level 10 but guys no 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 i have over 50,000 overall kills in apex legends i have a lot of kills i have a decent kd i have a, a good damage per game and i have basically 4k 20s on most characters basically all characters and there are some lobbies that i get paired up with level 10s with level 20s with both of my teammates being level 50s and below and it happens so often so often and then in those games that i get paired up with as people i get put up against three stacks and people who are you know who apparently skill based matchmaking just doesn't work for them so so here's me getting teammates who have tiny parrot brains and then there's everyone else on the map who is basically playing for a six hundred thousand dollar tournament and if they don't win it's like they've just lost the world cup bro they play it like it's a championship they play this game like it's life or death like I want, th there's a ranked mode, which you can do that in, feel free, but pubs, public matches are meant to be fun, relaxing, a game isn't meant to be frustrating, and a game really isn't meant to piss you off, realistically, a game isn't meant to do that, it's, a game is meant to be fun, and when you, when a game literally stops being fun, it's mainly to do with skill-based matchmaking, so tiny creatures of the universe, let me tell you how skill-based matchmaking actually works in Apex Legends, and how it's basically a scam, so let's read this, Anyone who has done their research on SBMM knows that it does not match players fairly based on skill. The system rigs your matches to make you win or lose in a particular pattern that is statistically shown to keep you playing more. EA has a paper on it. So what this basically says is that skill-based matchmaking and EA and Apex Legends have a system where you get paired up with bad teammates so you lose more which makes you want to play more because you know you you want to perform better and i can definitely see from a business standpoint that that's you know a good way to go about it you want people to continuously play your game and to maintain a high player retention rate you're going to need to do certain things like this so apex legends is kind of owned by ea and ea you know we all know are a very money hungry company and they'll do anything to invest money in their game I, they'll make you depressed so you spend money on skins to make you feel better and, and that's genuinely how it is too like i said a game is meant to be enjoyable and having rigged based matchmaking the only way you keep the the player retention rate high on apex legends just shows that you're doing something wrong and the fact that you have to scam your players to be able to have them play more just shows that you're, you're not you know you don't care about your game you just care about having a certain amount of people play your game so you can make more money. Now guys, listen to this. This is a scary bit. Let's say that you are a skilled player and after a few good games, skill-based matchmaking decides you should lose your next match. It will pay you with below average teammates also due for a loss and stronger opponents slash stacks to reduce your odds of winning. It is not about making the game fair. The paper also concludes that this form of matchmaking by rigging games has the highest player retention, followed by random matchmaking and then real skill matchmaking. Which one do you think game publishers are actually implementing? Skill-based matchmaking is not what you think. Guys, we're literally getting scammed and we, there's nothing we can really do about it other than making it a big issue for them to change it. And for them to change it would be such a big thing because they would be losing player retention because their game is actually enjoyable and it's something that we can spend a fun time on and then leave after a good amount of gaming and not game for unhealthy hours looking for that win that is so far-fetched. So guys, I don't really know what we can do to, to fix this issue. There's really, you know, I, I don't know. I, ju I just wanted to talk about it. So maybe one day the Parrot Brains at EA can make a change with this and actually have random skill matchmaking or like the other one, the, like actual real skill-based matchmaking and not 
rigged based matchmaking, which is just a scam. And it's it gen genuinely a scam because they don't tell us about it. They say it's skill based matchmaking. It's not. I have experience in this. I have countless hours in Apex Legends and I constantly always every day i get paired with at least a couple low levels and we always lose those games always because we get we come up against three stacks now guys this isn't really me complaining i get i enjoy playing apex i have some, many good games on apex but it's just that the way that they have their skill based matchmaking set up doesn't make sense especially for the for the new players and especially for the vet like the ogs like it, it doesn't make sense to have people that really support your game basically go through hell to just play your game more and just game for unhealthy amount of hours because yeah it's, you're just not having a good time and you want to get that win um and yeah i mean for some people i guess this works but for me if i get bad games i just i just go offline like it doesn't make me want to play your game and maybe for some people it works because i don't know maybe that's how gaming addiction starts but you know i don't know guys but anyway tiny creatures of the universe this has been the video i hope you enjoyed um yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what we could do. Any any suggestions in the comments of what we could do to fix this? I doubt it. Uh, you know, a small Apex channel up against EA isn't gonna go well. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a lovely day and uh, take it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>